it guys welcome to my home studio my name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos art videos recipes crafts DIYs mixed media happy mail and hauls fountain pens and fountain pen ink and sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video so if any of those will sound appealing to you feel free to comment like share and subscribe and without further ado I have a haul from cultpens.com and you guys knew that must have known this was coming <laughs> Now, I did purchase this way back in August of 2020. So, this is the Twisby Eco Fountain Pen in Cement Gray. It is a limited edition. And I got a fine nib this time. It has silver hardware. It's very opaque. It's part of the opaque line. Because some of them are transparent. And it is, in fact, an Eco not an eco tea very inexpensive i got this on sale super duper happy free shipping the whole nine yards all the way from europe <laughs> so i am so stoked to finally have this and be able to actually show you folks what it looks like and what i plan on inking it up with which is important now I am going to walk on the wild side and I'm gonna use an ink that I've had for a super duper really long time um, and hopefully it will work out nicely I've used this ink before it is made by Karen Dash it comes in a really cool bottle this is what it looks like it's totally slanted here So if you were using this as a dip pen, it would be perfect because the bottle actually is slanted. It stays slanted like that. So that's nice. Um, so Karen Dash Chromatics Infinite Gray. And I used this probably the last time was in 2018. So now I'm going to go ahead and do some swatches since I haven't swatched that color out I'm going to use my automatic pen open up my this is my Enigma I love it it has 68 GSM paper in it 384 pages that's a lot so it's much thicker which is why I switched from using my Hobonichi um notebook which is 52 gsm that paper and the lid is super heavy it's very luxurious feeling very nice so let's just go for it i wish all bottles were slanted like that that really comes in handy if you ask me Mm. That's nice. I do believe this dries a very light gray, if memory serves me correctly. It's fun to get back into this one. <laughs> it's been a couple years almost. That is nice and I'm going to use my dip pen it's the only this is the only Karen Dash ink that I own and it is the chromatics line
Okay, that looks good. I can't get over how heavy that lid is. So, super nice feeling. Move that over to the side and let it dry. And then I have my color ring cards. So I'll pull one of these. I have the bottle facing in the other direction so I can read it because she, her name is spelt very, it's a very peculiar way on this. So. And then her little D is super tiny. Looks cute. And it also says Genevieve on there. I'll add that in. Okay. This is exciting. Look at my pen. I know. It's so cute. I love these Twisby Egos. So I have every color except for one which is on its way. Every color. I just, you know, one of them. They make me happy looking at them. That's a nice, nice gray. If you like gray, this is a pretty one. It certainly is. I also go heavy-handed on these coloring cards because th if you don't and you just keep trying to swipe it, it will pill. The paper will pill. P-I-L-L, -L, and I don't want that, so I really go in. Like, if you try to do like this, this paper will do that. That's what's happened to me in the past. So, just a little tip so you know. Um, betcha. Okay, pipette. Woohoo! And quite bad, it's so much fun to do, I have to say. It's always a good time. Because it's messy. It goes all over the place, you know. So, there's that. Okay. So, now we get to ink up. Woo! Gosh, it feels like forever since I've used this color. 
I mean, nearly two years. I mean, that's, relatively speaking, that's not a long amount of time, but it seems like it. Okay, so there's that. Then I will use this Ackerman pen wiper to clean off the excess. As per my usual routine. My gosh, I have a fountain pen routine. Who knew that was going to happen? Not me. It's nice having a routine. But it's also nice to do other things, too. But I like my routine that I've established so far. And... I have some interesting things that I want to do as well with my ink. A couple of different things. So we'll see how that pans out. And if it does, I'll share it with you folks. So, strip that there, and here we go. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this is the only fine nib that I have. I know I have every other nib. Extra fine. S broad. Stub. But I don't know that I have a fine nib. In the Twisby Ecos, or the Eco T, for that matter, you know. So Twisby Eco fountain pen. I just put Twisby Eco here, and then cement gray. Limited edition. And fine. And that's again from Cult Pens. Well, it writes really nice on this paper, um, on the 68 GSM paper, and let's test it out in my good old witch term 1917 here. And then current, I put current ink on the side. I like it. This paper is much more toothy than the Tomoe River paper, but it's, um, it's still a nice smooth writing experience.
and it's a nice um I like the fine too I use a Hobonichi five year. So it's nice having the different options of nib sizes, I find. So it took nicely to this paper and it shows up really well. And let's go back in time, <laughs> if you will. Why is that still there? Because you never moved it, that's why. Um, pulp pens gives those away in their orders. Here it is. Okay, I can see because of the color. So I had this in my Kaweco Ice Sport Fountain Pen in pink with an extra fine nib on August 19th, 2018. Karen Dash, Genevieve, Chromatics, Infinite Gray. So there you have it. And I think I even inked up, it would be in my gray term, 1917. I think I believe I inked up my Parker Sonnet fountain pen as well with the same color. So, okay, here it is again in this beautiful Enigma. Looks very nice. Love it. I can't put that pen down. <laughs> it's just a nice color. I didn't know if I was going to get it at first. And then I just wanted it, so I got it. Okay. Then we have it. Hold this up close. In my other Enigma. Look at that. That's a nice deep gray. And it looks deep here on the swatch and lighter over here, writing it out. Beautiful. Okay, so. Here is the swatch. It looks very deep and dark on the swatch. Gorgeous. That's a nice gray. It really is. I've never seen anyone do any swatches with this before. I mean, I haven't looked for it, but I got this so long ago, this color. And that was before I even did videos or even watched videos on fountain pens. So that is my little share. I think it looks super duper cute. I think it matches the pen rather well, if you see there. All right. Thank you ever so kindly for watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I wish you all a very lovely day. Peace out.